everyone, welcome along to our Salmon at Home project. You'll be able to see how we've looked after our salmon and watched as they begin their life cycle going from eggs to alvin to small fry. This would normally take place in a freshwater river and they would then mature into adult salmon out in the Atlantic Ocean. Salmon face many threats on their journey in their life cycle from climate change affecting their food chains to pollution in local rivers and threat from predators. Those salmon that make it to adulthood are able to find their way back to the river that they were spawned in to lay their own eggs. We really hope that the salmon in our project are able to find their way back to our local river and continue the life cycle in the future. We set up all the equipment two days before we got the salmon. The fridge was plugged in in order to make sure the water was cool enough for the eggs. The water was collected from a local river. A little urra was placed into the tank in order to make sure it was oxygenated for the salmon and the tank also has a thermometer so that we can record the temperature of the water each day to make sure it's cold enough for the eggs. We travelled to Bush Mills to collect the eggs from Dara at the salmon station along the river Bush. The hatchery is filled with trays and trays of lots of salmon eggs and we got to collect a container full of ours. We packed them safely in the car and travel back to Belfast, ready to settle them into their new home. Once they were safely back to Belfast, the eggs were carefully placed in their tank. We used the net to make sure all the eggs were out of the container and safely into their new home. They settled in really well. Each day we record the temperature of the water as it needs to stay below 7 degrees to the eggs. We also check if there are any dead ones that need taken out or if any new ones have hatched. All of this was recorded in our little logbook. The water in the tank gets changed once a week. We fill a bucket of fresh clean water from our local river, making sure we pick a spot that we know isn't polluted. We use an empty bucket to remove the water from the tank about a third to a half of the water is taken out from the top, where it's gone smelly and stagnant. Using the fresh water from the river, we top the tank back up to the top with the nice clean water. This provides the salmon with a safe, clean and happy home, ready for another week. Eggs that have turned white and furry have died and need to be removed from the tank. We use the net to gently lift them out of the tank. Making sure we don't disturb any of the other eggs. And we get rid of them safely. It can be a pretty gross job. After the first week, the first egg started to hatch. Once the eggs have hatched, the next stage of the life cycle is the alvin stage. These little alvins have the red yolk sac still attached from the egg, which is full of nutrients and keeps them fed until they grow into fry. As the weeks went on, more and more eggs hatched every day. The alvins were still quite small.
they lay around the bottom of the tank, not yet too active. But by week 3 or 4, they started moving more and more and were flying around the tank. until they were big and strong enough, ready for release into the river. After a month with us, the salmon were ready to be released. We released them into the Collin River, which is full of clean water and lots of invertebrates for them to eat. Hopefully they'll end up back here soon, laying their own eggs and continuing the life cycle.